Hopefully, you guys know what it is, man. We got a special freaking guest in the building, too. Did we just go live just now, literally? Because I'm looking at that red button. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay, yep. this is just crazy. So, guys, <laughs> we're a little messed up. We got to do this whole intro all over again. Well, let's just hold on. We're so fucking shy. This, this is what happens, when, this is what happens we, when you drink behind the scenes, guys. We are so right? professional. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Can we switch the camera view? Say what the hell is It's, it's funny because we were talking backstage about how Hollywood, how professional we are. How professional. And right and now, this is like the biggest, like, oof. And it said schedule. But guys, listen, we, we're going to get through this, all right? We're going to get through it. We're live. Too. We're live. So welcome to New York Revival. Thank you for spending your Tuesday night with us. I am your boy Eli Rex, aka Vibes, and I'm with my guys. And you know who I'm with, man. I'm with Mr. Glass Half Full. That's speed if you nasty now. Right? And go. I'm here also with my brother LFA, aka White Jersey, aka Blue Jersey, aka El Sepe, aka No Damn It Daniel, baby. Ooh. We got the victory. Mm. Let's go. And guys, of course, we have a special guest in the building, and you guys know what it is. But just hold on, let's go around the room. Yeah, talk to me, talk to me, Speed. No, 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 no. Yeah, I thought you were going. I thought you were jumping the gun here. Yeah, I thought you were no, jumping the gun. Definitely okay, not. Okay. Let's go around the room. Okay. How was your weekend? Because my Monday, my Monday and my weekend was amazing. But I'm gonna start with El Jefe. How was your weekend, brother? Uh, weekend was obviously good. I usually drag ass on Mondays and it's hard for me to get going. This Monday I woke up, worked out. I was, I was hitting the road nice and early. I was up and at them this Monday may have something to do with the giants win. I'm not sure. But as you guys know, we've made a promise to each other. If the giants win, I will blank. And I just want mm. you to know, I came through on my promise today and I went to Lowe's dressed up as El Chefe. And there is video footage, there's proof, and that will be coming out soon. Can't wait. I'm going to clean it up and maybe post it tomorrow morning if I can. We'll see. But I just want oh, you to know, I held, up, I held up my end of the bargain, and it was ridiculous. Hold up, man. See, word. Now, absolutely, because, guys, we're going to release these certain things throughout the week. So, be, you know, stay tuned. But I'm going to go with Mr. Glass at Fullman. How was your weekend? What was going on, man? Hey man, we got the last like real summer weekend in. I know it's it's post Labor Day, but uh, did a little beaching again. Uh, got a little lava let action. So shout out Jersey Shore. Um, it, it did that, but you know what? Came back Sunday to a beautiful game, a beautiful ending. It just it's always the cherry on top of the weekend, and, and it, it could always ruin the weekend or it makes the weekend. And and then the next day, the next day just feels so much better. So I came into Monday feeling like. I was just floating, you know, just cloud nine, floating, having a good time. Um, and I too have to come through on my on my uh if if the Giants win, I will drink as many beers as there was points. And I, I, I done put my foot in my goddamn mouth. <laughs> and, and um so I'm gonna have to drink. Well, it, it, you know what? It could have been worse. 21 points is is really I in my mind, I was like under 27. Is, is something where I won't black out. <laughs> Under 27. And, hey, um, this is a long day. So my plan is Sunday at the tailgate, a bright and early. It's going to be a long day. I can spread out the 21 beers <laughs> as much as someone could spread out 21 beers. And I'm going to get it done for you guys. I'm going to have some video for you too. It's going to yeah. be a rough one. It's going to be a rough one for Mrs. Yeah. Uh, has glass half full for sure. <laughs> I'm excited for it today. Eli, how you feeling, man? E. man? I'm feeling amazing, man. And, you know, it's a win. And of course, man, it's great oh, when in the weekend beautiful. you go in and it's just a win is awesome. And guys, of course, man, if the New York Giants will win, I will blank, blank, blank. I have to write a 16 bar. Thank you, El Jefe. So, guys, you will have that soon, up and ready, ready to roll by the end of this week. And guys, we are men of our words. We got mm -hmm. you. Now I gotta give you a rap, and not a rap, man. I'm terrible, by the way. Just to let you know. So this is gonna <laughs> be great, man. But guys, we have a special guest in the building. Spit. We will not let you wait no longer, but let me remind everybody, this is a two-time Super Bowl champion in the building here, all right? This guy's a giant legend. You hear what I'm saying? And not only that, he's potting now. He's potting. This is insane Jeez. here. I'm sorry, guys. I got a little oh, excited. But you know should what? We, I have to remind him. Should we remind him? 
Who Let's we have in the building right now? Let's Who? show them a little something real quick. There wasn't a snowball's chance in Lambeau Field that Lawrence Tynes is making this third kick. I went out there with the 47-yarder with not one negative thought in my mind. All right, here goes Tynes again from 47 yards to kick the Giants to the Super Bowl. Snap is good. Kick on its way. End over end. Does it have the distance it is? Good. Lawrence Tynes has kicked the Giants to the Super Bowl. Man, who was that young cat in that video? (laughs) (laughs) Guys, we have Lawrence Tynes in the building, man. Round of applause. Round of applause. Round of applause. What's going on, brother? Thank you. Oh, my God. (laughs) Do you ever get tired of seeing that kick? I mean, I would start every day. That skin was looking nice. (laughs) (laughs) I I need to stay out of the sun. Yeah, man, yo, listen, you took a lot of vacations, man. You, you know, this is what happens when you're a two time mm. Super Bowl champ and you got blue you rush. You got be nice. I you know, it must be nice. You did yeah, man, that, I appreciate, young man, I appreciate y'all having me. Uh, y'all kept my ass back there for about six minutes. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. It's we, crazy. We have, to, we have to make you big you time. Know, y'all are big time now. You yeah, have to wait for it. Gr- it wasn't even a green room. It was just I was in the purgatory. <laughs> we, we see him backstage With, like, what are we doing here, guys? Yeah, yeah, no yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, let's, go. let's move. Let's move. <laughs> so thank you so much, uh, LT, for spending your Tuesday night with us, man. Yeah. And we want, you know, it's a big win, man. So we wanted to bring on a big guest, man, mm-hmm. to talk about the Giants of one and oh, man, especially in the last six years. Let me, my light. Let me clean my lighting up. There we go. Oh, that's there perfect, we man. We, see that face. Now Let's we go. see that yeah. skin. There we go. Now we see that oh, face. Man. Lavish got like skin. A fake, fake halo light over there. <laughs> <laughs> so, LT, man. the Giants start 1-0, and man, for the first time in Crazy. six years, man. This got to feel amazing. Just tell me, take take me through your emotions of the game this weekend, man. How'd you feel watching it and coming at it at that? Um, man, it was, they played one good half of football. Yeah, that's, it. <laughs> that's all that's it took. It. I mean, it, it, so, and they played the right half. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, I'm glad it yes. was the second half and not the first half. Yeah. And you could tell some young guys were nervous, uh, tentative. Daniel was a little skittish. You know, timing was off. You know, those guys didn't play a whole bunch in the preseason. But I am glad Daniel pay, played because if you look at the guys who didn't play this Sunday, most of them lost. So um, it was incredible, man. We needed that. Um, it felt really good. Uh and actually, I was fine either way. If, if Bullock makes the kick, mm-hmm. I was actually in a positive mindset because mm-hmm. of the way they play. Now, sure, the, the W is like the cherry on top, but I thought that they played well enough for me to be excited about something for the first time mm-hmm. in a long time. That's what we talked about a lot leading up to that game. Like, let's be competitive. Spiro keeps saying, look like make, football. make losses fun again. That's been his tagline all along. Like, let's it was fun. Team it was fun even they, if they lost that game. If they made that field goal, yeah. they, would, they still would have battled and came back. They mm-hmm. didn't just roll over when they were down 13 nothing. They fought I, I said back. this on our show. that uh, Last year, that was a 21-3 to ball game. Yeah. Right. Right. They, right. No 100%. way they win that game last year. No way. And, and they – no way do they fight uh, – and and they scored maybe three points. The yeah. way it was, that it was, it was yeah. kind of like that Broncos yeah. game to start off the year, but they, they never had a second half in that Broncos game. They, they they this staff at least showed us, hey, we can make up some adjustments. Like even you had a rookie offensive coordinator. You know, uh, Kafka was trying to feel his way through the game. Exactly, he started getting better as yep. the game went on. Everybody got better as the game on went on. The defense kept us in the game. You know, they they got a little lucky. The Titans dropped a couple first downs. Couple of stupid play calls. They kept us in the game until we found our footing. And man, they took off in that second half. And like, like you said, it didn't really matter at the end. I, I said, whatever happens, happens. Is look, when we got that two point conversion, whatever happened after that, I was yeah. perfectly fine with. It. You know, it, and that, yeah, we had they, that they put together a hell of a drive. I mean, right, obviously to get in field goal range, but um, man, they battled. They 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 looked competent. Um, and that's something they haven't really looked like in a few years. I mean. You know, they, they move the football, explosive plays. Oh, my God. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Uh, there are four or five of those, and I don't know how many we had in, in the whole season last year. Um, Several yeah, years. <laughs> it, um, it was exciting for sure. It definitely made Monday feel better and Sunday night. Barkley was on another level. He was just – he was the best player on the field, and I don't think it was close. Yeah, he looks – you know, he looks thinner, in right. my opinion. Yeah. I don't know how much, what he weighed last year to this year, and – you know, I've been very critical of him, and I, I, I don't hide behind that. Um, 
I, I think I was in the right. I wasn't disrespectful to him, but man, what I said is basically what he said. He wasn't in it. He mm -hmm. hasn't been in it for a couple mm -hmm. seasons. I never said he lost a step. So he said to the people that lost a step, stay on that side or whatever. <laughs> hey, I'm you back that on guy. the side. You win that guy, right. <laughs> but I did question his want to, and I think he did too last year because that was not Saquon the last yep. two seasons, Great. the way he was running. And and then you, you start putting pieces together. I mean, it sounded like that Joe Judge staff, that whole – two-year tenure was misery mm. as much as we all wanted him to out. work yeah he's a hell of a salesman yeah yeah i mean i, I believe exactly i was right. a believer in joe judge yeah we all tried to we all wanted mm -hmm. to believe Dang. the first season he got away with a six-win season because he had us in his corner and then when it turns out like maybe he's not actually good at coaching football <laughs> like this team is just <laughs> yeah. not they're never in the right spot. They're never prepared. Like, Man, God like, bless the Patriots because he's. I think he's calling plays oh, over here offensively. Yeah, How yeah, they didn't great first game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. But uh, but back yeah. to Saquon. Yes, it, it is. Uh, there was a lot of release of frustration on that first touchdown that he had. You could tell. And then, man, once he got that, and you know, confidence is everything in this game. He's got a lot of it, and he should have. And he's he's due for a special season, provided he stays healthy. I mean. Mm -hmm. He looks like he is on a mission. Yeah, he looks pissed off. He looks healthy. He's and I like angry. He's that's what I'm about to say. Yeah, exactly. he finished. He, he finished a lot of runs, which we didn't see last year. Um, and he just shoved it up in there. But again, there's yeah. more space. I mean, I kind of yeah. went back today mm -hmm. and looked at some all 22 from last year. Don't do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it is more. disgusting. Yeah, I it's bet. so yeah. bad. Because, I, you know, one thing I did notice is you watch uh, Saquon and Daniel, every time they ran the football, players are over there picking them up. Evan Neal, Thomas, Feliciano, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I can't find very few plays last year where the offensive line went over and helped the backup or helped the, the quarterback up. Wow. That's sad. Good call. Good call. That is sad. Um, Absolutely. That, is sad. that matters. It's sad. And that's the little things I look at. Man, I like this Richie James guy. I'm just rambling mm -hmm. right now. Man, I like him. No. He's another guy. He's patting, he's patting the – the opponents on the on the butt. He's making plays. He's a football player. His hair is wild as hell. Um, <laughs> my son calls him the ramen. He's got the ramen yeah. noodles. Um, <laughs> that's what he calls them. The spicy ramen. He's got spicy ramen and it. regular ramen. Um, but man, he's a ball player. He's a ball player, Richie James. Yes, that's a good pickup. Kind of underrated pickup. Very. I went to I went to a couple of practices and he looked fun as a kick returner. He looked real fast out there. And I think he had a little more trust from the coaches. And I think Tony, they're going to bring him on slow and they're going to make him earn it. And why not? It's not his, it's not their draft pick. Tony has no. a ton of talent, but he's got to show it and he's got to prove it. So I don't mind them making, maybe Tony will be pissed off and, and work harder and come out and earn yeah. his snaps. But Richie James underrated game. He showed up very underrated in both phases, special teams and uh, on offense. He did well, man. He's yeah. a, he's a ball yeah. player. I, uh, he's like I that, post he's that the other guy. day, 123 all purpose yards for his first game yeah. as a giant. It's pretty good. Pretty good. He's, he's, yeah. a, he's a good glue guy that you need to do every, he does a little bit of everything, you know, and he yeah, gets, on the, he gets on punt return, You want to average a first down. Right. I think he did that. I think that's he averaged about 10 or 11 yards per return. Um, and catch the ball. Right. That's, that's yeah. The one. He made some <laughs> catches. Um, yes. I thought offensively they looked adequate. I thought DJ played solid. Nothing to – wasn't bad. It wasn't great. But, right. you know, I saw someone tweet today, you throw two touchdowns and one pick every game, that's 34 and 17. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hell, yeah. All day. Sign me All up. Day. Sign I can me do up. Without I think the, the Giants were signed up. I, think, yeah, right. I, think, yeah. Yeah, I don't need 17 picks because the fumble no. wasn't his fault. That 98. No, he got wrecked. 98 yeah, for yeah, Tennessee yeah. is a monster. Simmons? He was, he was yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Imagine as a rookie, easy to do, uh, coming in <laughs> and playing an all pro level defensive tackle. I mean, can you and fault he handled him, his man? business? Can you fault him? He got better as the game went on, too, I feel like. Yeah, One block I mean, the shit out of it. <laughs> I, I think what young guys struggle with early in the season, it, whether it was Andrew Thomas or Azidu or, you know, Evan Neal is the speed yes there's a different yeah. speed in uh, uh, on week one compared to what they saw in the preseason even in practice mm -hmm. like there's a practice speed there's a preseason speed there's a regular season speed there's a there's actually a playoff speed too right i mean if you right. turn yep. the film yep. on coaches used to show us like a game like week 16 and then a, a like an nfc chance. it's nuts how guys can just turn it up another notch and that's what he i think that's what the entire team struggled with early offensively right and 
you know, they figured it out. They figured it out. Good for them. I agree. And I think, and Todd, I mean, sorry. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass blocking, yeah. it seems like it was behind run blocking, but they were run blocking very well. Um, and so it just seems like that pass blocking is going to come with a little bit of chemistry. The longer they play with each other, a little bit more snaps. They could hand off a little bit, uh, blockers, uh, pass rushers a little bit better. But yeah, I they like passed a lot of things time. off well. I've watched the yeah. All-22 probably too many times today, but I just let it run while I'm working. And I'll mm-hmm. look up and catch a play. I'll look up, I'll catch a play. Because you can watch that whole thing pretty quick. Right, right. Um, they passed a lot of things off very well, I thought. Um, and Evan Neal is, oof. Andrew Thomas looks yeah. really fast. Yeah. I, I know yeah, that sounds good. crazy, but he's playing, like, fast. You know, he looks, I don't know, he looks, he looks more athletic or something. Yeah, game yeah. slowed down for him, that's for yeah. sure. He's Big time. Exactly panicking. He's, re- he's always in the right place, man. He's Feet so impressive. Great. He's going yeah, from like a solid so player to a dominant player, and nobody's talking about him. Yeah, like knock on wood. Well, listen, as you know, Jeff, that comes with wins. True, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. comes with primetime TV, and we have right. sucked. So hopefully he yes. gets his. <laughs> hopefully he gets his flowers. This Monday night. Hey, oh, there it is. There it is. So it, it, I feel like linemen take like two years to get noticed. Like last year was his was a solid year, and then once you start stacking good years together, then like oh that that guy like we know about him. But the rest of the league starts to find out after a while, and I feel like this is a year, so I'm I'm pumped. I so LT, I, I asked this question: How is it? How important it is for a young team like the New York Giants to win that first game during the season? Because thinking about when you played, right in the 2007, you guys started 0 and 2, and I know that can be a little bit demoralizing, a little bit. You're like, man, when are we gonna catch this first win? But how about that first one? How important is that first one, especially to this team now? Man, it, I think there's videos all over Twitter that tells you how important it was, not only for mm. the Giants, but obviously Coach Dable and this franchise. I mean, that this sounds crazy. That's like as big a win as we've had in a long time. Yeah. I, it's fast. It really is. Because <laughs> I would it, say it, it, was, it, too. There's always some importance in the first game of the year. There's importance because we had a brand-new head coach and a new staff, and then just a bunch of new guys playing. I I, I really think that that is vitally important to get the first win, but – you know, what it meant to Coach Dable and how he poured his heart out to the media a little mm. bit about what it meant to him and the locker room scene after the game. I mean, if that doesn't get your hair on your arm standing up like yeah. it does mine, then I don't know. You're not living. Having fun, that, man. That's special, man. And and, yeah. and he's a good dude, you know. It, he's a really good dude. And you can tell these guys are going to play for him and run through a wall for him. Mm-hmm. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, sitting Kadarius Tony, I think, sends a message too. Not, I shouldn't say he's sitting him. He just didn't play him a lot. He Limited, didn't sit right, him because yeah. he got a suit. Uh, Slayton got – you know, Slayton didn't play. Right. He didn't even dress. Right. But Kadarius Tony, he was he was honest. He said, look, you know, we had a package for, for our guys, and he played, I think, seven snaps, two targets. Uh, made a heads-up play, though, not throwing that football. Yep. Yes. Holy, that, that safety was rolling over Oof. the top. Woof. A lot of guys will throw that. But you know he's he had a, a quarterback lot of, though. Yeah, yes. he's a quarterback, so he knew he he, he, like, he didn't he just wasn't lock in on Sills. I think right. he was going to Sills, right? Right, right. Um, yep. He didn't he sales. didn't just lock in on on Sills and and not look at the safety. And and I think you know he had a couple of good passes last year too. Obviously, yes. So he I trust him back huh? there. <laughs> yeah, I do too. And then he made some crazy four yard run. <laughs> he yeah, it was, was that nuts. was that the same play insane. when he pulled it in and then he ran about 50 to yards to gain four and then he yeah. went back <laughs> yeah. where he came from yeah and then he got up pissed off he said he was mad like he was like yes because he wanted he like, wanted that it, touchdown the frustration pass. of not playing yeah and the frustration mm-hmm. of but you know it'll, say, it'll 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 just motivate him i don't think he's a kid that'll go in yeah. the tank i watched no. him on the sideline i watched the uh sound the the sights and sounds afterwards and he was into it still like it there, you could tell some guys could get like dejected, sit on the side, sit away from the team, but he was in there giving hugs to DJ, getting pumped up when the missed field goal happened. Like he was involved. Yeah, still. So, in my mind, I'm like, Dable has told him the deal. Like players don't want a fake coach. Dable said, Hey, you haven't practiced a lot, man. These are your, your plays right now. This is the only thing that you, you're, you've been good at right now or, or, or no, 100%. And we're going to work you in more as the se- as season goes on. So I think that that's, you know, I just hope that that's what what, what happened because it seems like what it was. Yeah, so, yeah, we certainly I, I, need some. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Let me cut you off there. No, go ahead. Oh, so LT, you know, you you you're the man when it comes to special teams. Here, we all know you got the golden mm. foot. Got us two Super Bowls. Come on, we already know. 
But looking at this past week, man, the special teams kind of looked a little bit off a little bit. I, I just want to get your opinion. Yeah, I, I, that's putting it nicely, right? I, I just want to get your opinion. What was the, the, the issue with that? Because they were given a poor p- field position when it came to kick returns, pump returns, et cetera. They couldn't tackle well um, and et cetera. But just give me an overall grade of what you thought. And then this breakdown on how can we get better or are we better as a special teams unit? It's no, I mean, they, they haven't played great, right? The big, the big punt return was just a, and, and it's kind of what Jamie has struggled with in his career is sending missiles down the middle of the field. Can't do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hang time did not match the distance and they basically returned it as far as he punted it. Um, that's, that's not on the, that, that's a really hard thing to do is cover a kick with no hang time. Yeah. And then I guess there was another big return, but there was a couple of holding calls, right? Where we, right. they take, took them back. But the snap on the PAT, you can't have that. That's that that should never happen. I mean, that was actually a really big point if you think about it. Um, as the game kind of went on, and it always happens that way. If you if you have a bad PAT snap or something, and you you leave a point out there, it somehow in the NFL always bites you in the ass. Yes. So, um, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, I, we would have been kicking a PAT to, exactly. to win the game. Um, yeah. Would have been would have yeah. been as fun, but um, so. And then, you know, Bar- Saquon got face mask on that play, too, by the way. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Yes, and did. I didn't see a flag. So I'm wondering, I'm, in my head, I'm wondering if he, if we didn't get in, were they going to call that? Right. <laughs> no. Do they it again? I don't think I, they I were. Like, yeah, I, I feel like no. that was a spur of the moment thing, and they that missed been, it. So. That would have been crazy. But You know what, though? I, if we're going to miss an extra point, I'd rather it be earlier on, and then we have this heroic yeah. win and going for two, as opposed to it missing the extra point <laughs> for the win. And, and Crider, Crider is a good snapper. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I mean, and sometimes yeah. in, in, the, in these early season games, I mean, there's a lot of sweat going on. The balls are mm-hmm. sometimes, you know, maybe he was sweating. I don't know. But there's no <laughs> excuse for that. I mean, your no. job is to snap it to, to the holder. Um, they but overall, the second time too, I feel like on the second uh, snap too, it was low, and and I, I feel like the, the snapper, I, the holder, got it down well. But that could be me. You might, you know, better than me, LT. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I looked at those as hard, okay. but I did. But but on the positive side, right, the punt return game was incredible. I mm, mean, right. there was a, he, he left a few yards out there too. There was one where he late in the game where he stopped, then he got going again. If he would have just hit it from the get go. I mean, he's got a huge return. Mm-hmm. Um, and then obviously Gillen's five punts inside the 20 with a turnover. Right. That's an yes. incredible day. So there was – I get what you're saying. There was the, – the bad plays stick out, the, the bad snap mm-hmm. and the big punt return. But there was a lot of good stuff too. Um, special teams guys, and I haven't studied that unit. I don't know who all is on it. If there's veteran players or young players, it can take a few weeks to get going. But they didn't hurt us, Right. right. I don't think they hurt us, but you can't you can't keep living on the edge there with those big returns and miss and and pee at bad snap. So ninety nine percent of the Giants fans thought that extra point was going to hurt us. I guarantee you, we thought game over. We're going to lose by a point. That's it. Well, we almost did. Um, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we almost did, dude. Even uh, even but, with Saquon getting the face mask, that play was dead to rights. They had three guys. Man, kinda, uh, yeah, yeah, Evan Neal had Evan Neal kind of had a bad bad snap there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, he just kind of started. Mm-hmm. He started. He got. It was bending at the waist. Um, but that Titans defense is real though. It's I mean, awesome. they it played is, really well. I watched team. a lot of um, you know, the pass plays, the incompletions, and there wasn't a ton of them. But man, they played really well in the back end. They're yes. a good team. They're a playoff team. Um, it's a big win. It's a good win. Oh, yeah. Totally One of the good. toughest teams in the AFC uh, year after year the past couple of years with Rabel out there, man. So it's no joke. It's not a not, not a fluky win, you know. So they grinded. No. They got it. Now you got to make it count, though, and win the second one. That'd, that'd be real freaking nice. Yeah, you have to stamp it at yes. home. Yes. But, but I'll tell you home. this. Uh, with, with times, because he actually stole the thunder a little bit, because I was going to say, hey, there were some good and bright spots with – the uh, special teams as well, especially that muff punt, et cetera, had to go ahead, touchdown, et cetera, after that, I do believe. So in the overall grade, what would you give that particular unit this past game here, LT? I mean, I would give them a, uh, a C plus. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. C like plus. It. Because like the, 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 the bad snap and the big, you know, the big returns are going to happen from time to time. I'm not right. so worried about those, but the bad snap that that should never happen ever, 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 ever. Never happened. You can clean that up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your job is to snap, snap the damn ball. 
any snap that's not <laughs> totally perfect agree. just me- got to mess your rhythm up so much, right? It it's a rhythm thing. You saw what right? happened to the kid from Cincinnati, the Bengals, 29 yeah. yards. Absolutely dog and shank. Even if the hold winds up being okay, the fact that the rhythm is just thrown completely I mean, listen, off. we don't – if you guys go to the NFC Championship game, end of regulation, the one I missed, same thing. High snap, and you saw – Mine looked just like uh, the kid McPherson's from the Bengals. You start leaning to buy time if yeah. you're there early, and then you just yank the football. So it's mm. it's a big deal when everything's you know not on time. Damn long snappers. I mean, you got you one job. Yeah, right? What's yeah. going on, man? Yeah. What the hell? Only in America will well, they pay you a million five to throw some <laughs> shit through your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Upside down. It's true. It's true. We used to so go what... up to Diasi after the games and, and like – and we'd count his snaps, so he'd probably make let's call it like a hundred grand a game, just on average. Mm-hmm. And he had five snaps for the game, and we go twenty thousand, twenty thousand, twenty. That's what he would do. Really, man would make, really? man would make a hundred racks to throw the ball. Good for racks. him, man. Good what a career. Good. Only in America. Hey, let me, yes. let me exactly. Let me ask this, and this is completely off topic. Topic. How hard was that ball out in Lambeau Field when you kicked it? Like, like, was it like? Did it hurt your foot? Like that, 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 that ball had to be frozen, man. Like, I just mean, take yeah. me th- listen. It, when you're when you're in the moment and you're in the game and you're in the heat of the battle, hell yeah! I mean, you don't feel anything. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yes, after the game, I mean, I I told the story. Kevin. I got my I got my foot drained after the game. Ooh. So I buzzed is that, like. Is, is every, that a normal thing, or is that like uh, a? Cool. No, I hit okay. a kickoff. I hit a kickoff like high up on my my ankle in the first mm. quarter, mm. and I felt oh. that hurt like holy hell because I, and so I felt something, but obviously the pressure on my socks and everything on kept everything. So throughout the game, it was it was tender and sore. I felt it, but with the adrenaline going, you and you're just playing ball. But and when your feet I got were frozen, right? Yeah, like, so. when I got back <laughs> in the locker room, when I pulled my sock off, I mean it literally my my ankle went. Boop, like the wow. size of a baseball. Ooh. So that's why Ooh. I had I had it drained. And then Jeez. they weren't going to let me fly back home after the game because they were worried about it getting crazy. And That's a flight pop, you want to be on, though. That's, You're like, that's screw you. Flight. I did. Yeah, I, I actually got to ride in a cockpit with, with the pilots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it because you, is it cause you yes. looked like a little boy? Yeah, like in that yeah interview? no, they, they, wanted me, they, wanted me, they wanted to be with the dude. They wanted to be with the homeless. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, That's right. This flight so attendant comes back and says, uh, the captain would like to see you. I said, no. <laughs> they so wanted to be there. with the guy. Yeah, yeah, got well, I, had, I, had my, I had the ball. I had the ball. Nice. Let's go. So I let him. I said, "Hey, man, you make sure you land this bitch. Don't worry about this football." Talk and talk. This is a times. I know you did Letterman. Hold on. Did did you do Letterman after the first or second Super Bowl? First one. That was that was badass. What the hell? Like, that's not normal, right? That's not normal for. No, I was on there. I was on there, and then Eli went on like after we won the Super Bowl. But man, we had a great time. I I grew up watching Letterman with my dad. So right. Stupid human tricks, you know, the, the big the, zoo guy that you would bring in the animals. The countdown. So um, <laughs> that was surreal because uh, you get into the st- studio. It's tiny, by the way. Have you guys all been there? Oh, really? No. Not to that one. No, no, Tiny. No, no. Really? Tiny. I thought I'd look out there and the audience is like right in front of you. Because on TV, <laughs> you just think it's this big. They trick you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and, of course, you know, they, they do a good job of telling you all the questions that Dave's going to ask. So naturally, the funny one was, you know, when he's like, what's coach saying to you? What's he doing? Oh, here we go. Miss another one. All right. (laughs) It's not a bad impression, actually. Yeah, he was good. I mean, listen, I love Dave Letterman. So it was just a treat to be on there. So I'll say this to LT. And and it's funny because when you had the America's game and they're like, (laughs) no, coach, don't send him back out. And you're running back out. What's going through your head? You're like, screw you, Coughlin. Is he even telling you to run back out at that point? Like, what is he telling you? When you miss those 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 particular kicks there. Man, he's not he doesn't he's just yelling, right? Tom's a yeller barker yeah, yeah, yeah. gets yeah. after you. I, I don't ever hear anything he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> just like, but that's just him. I'm like I know I, I have an idea what he's saying, right? We right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Make your kicks. Yeah, you can no see shit. his face. 
<laughs> yeah, no shit. I know I need to make these. Yes. Um, I understand I'm not the trying message. to kick the ball through those two posts. <laughs> so, um, the last one is the, you guys all know. I just ran out there, man. Yeah. I said, fuck it. I'm, I'm, it. I'm not. I'm not going out like this. Did he ever thank you? Let's go. Did he ever thank you for like taking the decision off of him? Tom, is that yeah? No, but his ass needs to. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tommy needs to. No, I love Tom, but um, if you know Tom, he's not going to come up and. You know, I can see give that. Me, give me my flowers. He's not going to give me my flowers. <laughs> nah, we, we're giving you your flowers at LT. Yeah. Thank yeah, you, man. Yeah, Thank you, Tom, man. Yes. Tom you know cares. What you Tom loves me. I love Tom. That's all I need. He doesn't need to tell me. It's like an unspoken, right? Um, right. right. It would yeah, be nice so. to hear it, though, right? I know. Uh, what, uh, on, maybe. on Tom's deathbed, he'll be like, he'll he'll say, he'll be like, Thank, thank you, you thank Lawrence. You, thank you, Lawrence. <laughs> yeah. I love you. <laughs> it was all right. Yeah. Right, last now, words. Let, last words. Let's let's um, move on a little bit, guys, because I, I want to play a little game here for Lawrence Times. And we kind of do something with our guests here every time they come on a revival. Okay. And we're gonna play kicking it with time. So we're gonna ask you a list of questions. That is clever. To, oh, isn't it great? Yeah, that is very clever. Yeah, I mean I'm kicking it did that, with did that, time. Did that, did that, did that name keep you up all night? Jeez. All night. It took, yes, it all all night. night. All night. Oh, it took a lot Eli. of beers. A lot of Eli. beers, Eli. a lot of liquor. Eli, you're a good content guy, too. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> that was his Sorry, idea, man. Too. I, was, I thought I had a bright idea after the fifth beer. I'm like, time. Taking right. it with time. I got That's it. I mean, let's I run it. with yeah. it. Okay, let's run with it. Yeah. So, listen, I'm, I'm going to pass this off to my wonderful co-host. And I'm going to start with you, Speed. Give him the first one here. Let him have it. All right, so let's just say all-time college fo- uh, NFL, your coolest perk that you've ever got. Like, what's the what's the, what's the coolest thing? Did someone get you a free dinner? Did someone uh, bring you out for the night? What what was the coolest thing of uh, being an NFL football player? Your coolest night, whatever it was. Coolest perk. Hmm. Man, there's so many. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice humble back Especially there. when like, you're winning. I, like I mean, it's hard. Oh, yeah. Um, man, he's got all the glory days question. just running. No, he's like trying to run through it. He's trying not to smile, just thinking about how good life. <laughs> and I, I actually don't have like I just don't have what like I can't think of like. Let me just say one thing that's cool about being an NFL player. Um, right. Man, everything about it, like yeah, it's mm. just, just the, the, yeah, the it's best too life. hard. You yeah. know, winning championships in New York is, is fun. Now, now I would say this. Okay, let me. I can. I can pick up. The ticker tape parade mm, is yeah, the yeah, coolest yeah. thing I have ever done in my lifetime. And I got to do it's it two awesome, times. Man. Uh, it's awesome, the coolest man. thing, and I think every player would tell you that's the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. It was that's nuts. Playing not, I've, hands down, nuts. nothing's nothing's even close. I've never hugged wow. so many strangers in my life as, <laughs> as those parades. Yeah, if we could all just live life like that. The happiest Seriously. place on earth Amazing, was those right? parades, man. It was it wild. Was incredible. It was incredible. Effie, don't throw one, man. Um, I got you. I'm a big music guy, so I'm curious. If you had anything, did you have a go-to jam or band or anything that you would listen to before games? Mm-mm. No music. Silence. No music. Silence. Mm-hmm. Focus. Hey, see, that's why I was yeah, wondering. No. I was like, kickers, kickers have to be in a different mind state than your, you know, your average offensive yeah. lineman. You know. Yeah, I would. I, I put my. Uh, I would drop my earplugs in like an hour before kickoff, and then it's a wrap for four hours. I like it. Wow. I'm just I in my own little it. world for four yeah, hours. I respect it. Focus. Like, Fully focused. So I learned that from Jeff Fegels. Jeff Fegels wore earplugs his whole career, and then he finally Love got it. me into them. I think my second year in New York, and then I started wearing them, and and I liked it. Um, it just uh-huh. now we could all talk. I can talk to coaches. I can have conversations, but it just puts you in a whole different level of concentration mm, shout so, out Eagles, man yeah, yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah john shout casey wore them uh john carney oh, wore them casey. wow uh, yeah. and i think i think more and more guys uh, are wearing them now um mm. you get these custom made you couldn't even tell i had them in but uh <laughs> oh no that's Dope. pretty cool Dope. that's that's another 
good reason, like when Tom's yelling at you, you'd be like, what the fuck are you yeah. saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I kicking it or not, Coach? What are you doing? <laughs> like, uh, uh, and, and, and he'll just go, ah, oh, the earplugs off. Oh, that. Just <laughs> yeah, right. Because <laughs> he knew so, we all wore them, me and, me, and, uh, me and Jeff. You know, we're like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of learning sign language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I, I tell you this, um, you know, in the NFL, man, it's a good living, right? Especially as a kicker. So I just want to say this. You, you signed your first big contract, right? What is the first lavish thing you purchased with that money there, man? What was the first, like, huge thing that you purchased? Man, this is, this is the dumbest thing I've ever bought in my life. Yeah. So yes. We like that. I, yeah. It, so I'm a rookie in, with the Chiefs mm-hmm. making, I don't know, 200 grand was my – rookie minimum 225 something like that and i went to casey trends my boy chad he owns it still still a shop here in town it's a rim shot so i put some rims on it oh (laughs) wait do you hear about these rims so (laughs) i got i had a denali yukon denali white so i i I, you know they kind of sat weird so i paid for the um kind of to level it yeah and put 24s on it in 04 (laughs) nobody had 24s And wow. I paid cash. Like a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought I GFG. Know. They were GFG three piece rims. So GFG is still in the game, I think. But That's... man, pulled up to the lot, you know, and everybody's just <laughs> busting my ball. Yeah. Like, this, this rookie kicker bought them rims. I'm like, yeah. I love it. Get with the program. They were $9,000. Yeah, I mean, 200 oh, that was, more than is a great made. Living, that was but... more than I made. That was more than a game check for me. Yeah, right. <laughs> that, hey, that listen, is like as I think big. back on that, that is the dumbest thing I've ever bought. Because I could have been cut two weeks later. Two weeks later, I was a rookie. <laughs> <laughs> Undrafted. I could don't they have like seminars about that? Like, don't don't go out and spend it on listen, rims. <laughs> I'm from Milton, Florida. You weren't telling me nothing. I talk it Let's go. This is why we were about to. I was, I was, I was. You couldn't tell me nothing. I was rich. I love yeah. it. I so, love so it, let me say, let me, because I, I definitely want to hear another story. So, what was the second? Is there a second where you go, man? What the hell did I do with that? I just because I just want to hear no. something. That that was crazy. No, I I was pretty. You know, I was married shortly after that. My second year. Um, oh, okay. So that obviously, you know tones down things and then you then you start to have kids and then shit changes so i i've been pretty good pretty responsible um but i think about i think about that all the time i'm like i bought nine thousand dollar rims cash <laughs> was more than a game check which is Your so as like, a rookie you're never doing that again <laughs> well, I, was, I wasn't married i wasn't married at the time so <laughs> well you got wiped so out real soon after that yeah, that, you <laughs> yeah. Had to get after that. You're like, little oh, leash on this it guy he's wild yeah, it might have been a rims so man it might have been a rims, LT. It might have been a rims. That's how you got it. It might have been a rims. And the Denali was clean, though. The Denali looked clean, though. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure, man. It was awesome. yeah. as hell. Not like yeah. rookie kicker clean, but like. Was, yeah. <laughs> they're, like they're probably like, this guy must be a, a quarterback, you know, a star quarterback. Oh, for sure. Right now. DB, <laughs> been, in the, been in the league for like seven years, eight years. No. On his third contract. <laughs> no. Un- no. Undrafted. Undrafted. That's good, good Lord. In. I love it. I love you were it. like a twisted I, ankle away from being unemployed. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I was. So I didn't care. I didn't think about it. I was zero just given. Good That's for cool. you. That's awesome. Good yeah. for you. So, guys, of course, we know week two, we got Carolina coming into Thanks. town. It is the home game. So, I want to kind of go around the room and get the feel. And, of course, we're going to start with our special guest, man. I'm going to need some score predictions. Mm, LT. Okay. Mm. What's your score prediction here? Is the Giants mm. winning? The Giants losing? But just give me the score, man. What you got? Give us a synopsis and then end it with the score prediction, man. You got Why it. Not? Um, listen, I you know Baker Mayfield played okay the other day. Um, mm. He really did. I thought he you know that's a tough game when you play your former team. A lot of emotions involved there, um, and they they looked okay, man. McCaffrey's back. They've got some skill guys. They got some speed. Uh, but again, I think the Giants are playing with a lot of confidence. I don't know if we get Aziz or Kayvon back this week. That would be helpful. Please, one. Um, yeah. Uh, if we do, one of them will take one. But I think the Giants are, are playing with a lot of confidence. They're going to be at home. Mm-hmm. I think the crowd is re energized. I think the city is a little bit re energized. They have to back up that win in Tennessee. They have to win yes. this game. This yes. is a very important game 
for even them to think, okay, that wasn't a fluke, right? So I think the Giants win this game 27 to 21. So close to my prediction. So close. I, I think they win it. it. They have to. It's, it's a, you know, Let's it, go. With each win, each game becomes more and more important. So this is a big yes. one, especially at home. I agree. Yes. Uh, Hefe, man, give me your score prediction. I think this crowd is going to be out of their minds. I think I can't yeah. wait for this tailgate. Me and Spiro Ooh. are going to be there. I think it's going to be an yeah, epic tailgate. And I think uh, – I think Is it a Giants, 1 o'clock kick? Yep. Yes. Okay. I think, I yep. think the Giants – 8 a.m. <laughs> I have the Giants 27-20. I think that they, uh-huh. instead of taking a half to get their shit together, I think they come out firing. Now they know who they are a little bit. I think they get going sooner. I think they put up points and they hold them off. I think 27-20 Giants. 2-0. I like it. I like it. Let's go. Speed. Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, uh, Lawrence said it perfectly. You, you, it's got to validate what you did week one. And now the pressure is on the Giants now to keep this thing going. So I'm interested to see how they react because – Sometimes you can catch a, a, a team off guard week one. Week one, you see a lot of upsets. Week two, now there's tape on you. Now there's there's no more, you know, hit, hidden ball tricks, whatever. But um, I, I'm looking forward to this game, man. I, and I, I think it matches up well. If we can get one of those pass rushers back, that offensive line for the for the Panthers is weak. So you can't they can be had. But I'm telling you, a lot of people are, are just chalking this up to win. Carolina is not going to be easy. It's not going to be an easy win. The Giants haven't gotten that right to just chalk yeah. up the wins right now. They, you can't do that. So I think they're going to pull it out, though. I'm confident they need to have it. Um, the, the crowd is going to be nuts. The crowd is going to be real jacked up. Spiro, do you have a fucking 20. prediction or what? 2420. Let's go. 2420. Okay. 2420. Hey, you stole my thunder. Dude. You stole my thunder. It was coming right after. What are you? Come you still, I was just gonna end it. I was just gonna. I know. End it. I know you're, you're, you're thinking about all the beers you got to drink. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh, all right. Well, listen. I gotta make 21 beers oh. down. Uh, 24 20. Are Let's you go. gonna go? Guys what win. type of beer are we doing for the 21? It's gonna be light. It's gonna be light. Yeah, um, cheap, like bush light, like cheap. bush light. Yeah, oh. I'm talking. Yeah, Dude, I'm talking Coors Miller Light. Lights. If, if Coors Light or Miller Light, if you're going for Miller Light, yeah, I yeah, go. I do like the Coors. I do the core. yeah yeah I know you're right actually you know what it's gotta be cores the skinny yeah, the, cans yeah, gotta yeah. make it nice and skinny uh, the Miller so. the Miller all that Pilsner yeah that shit would get yeah yeah I feel yeah. you I, feel, yeah, light I was the, thinking I was like Coors I, do the break off. I don't want to do the ponies because that's gonna cheapen what I'm doing here I don't want to do that I I'm 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 a I'm a Dude, man so when my does word. this take place does this start Sunday 8 a.m. on Sunday 7 a.m. maybe on Sunday <laughs> we're spreading it out throughout the whole day start early. <laughs> Early and I can't wait. I can't wait. Y'all are gonna have to babysit uh, them. So, so let, let's let's wrap this up, of course, because you know LT doesn't have all day because Spiro keeps keeps rambling hey, on. I so guys, let me say this, you guys. Let's go. Yeah, right. uh, we love <laughs> so, it. <laughs> so listen, man. I, score prediction for me, man. Seventeen twenty-one Giants late touchdown. Yes, I think it's gonna be just like that, man. Yeah. Put it real. Oh, yeah. 2117 to put it real quick, man. So uh, last week, man, we did if the Giants win, I will. You guys already know I'm supposed to write a 16 bar, mm. give it to you at the end of the week. You got El Jefe walking in the lows, butt ass naked almost. And then That's you crazy. have we went hard week one. We went hard. We went hard for you guys. So we gotta well, take it easy just a little bit. And yeah, we're gonna drink 21 actually. beers. So you know what? We're gonna put our guest on a spot along mm. with us to LT. We're going to ask you this, man, for the fans, and you got to come through and record it, hopefully yeah. on the pod as well. If the Giants win, I will fill in the blank. I will. Man, this is tough, guys. It yeah. is tough. I know. I know. <laughs> I you don't want to go mean, too I'm, hard here. This I, is I, a I brand new. Get, yeah, I can't do the alcohol thing. <laughs> um, I would die if I drank 21 beers. And it's beers. not like you just have to – whatever you say you're going to do, you just have to prove it somehow, no matter yes. what. Um, if the Giants win, I will send uh, five viewers a signed picture. Is that okay? Boom. <laughs> I like it. Five, five, five renewals. You guys are going to have to police that. Five so revival got, listeners. So yes. You know who watches, who doesn't. You pick the five. You hear that, I'll folks. Sign, I'll I love sign it. Green, 
I'll sign the Green Bay. I'll sign that's... the Green Bay pitcher and Let's just send me right out. That's a good one. Oh, that's that's a great one. Uh, I'm I'll getting one that. of the fives just to let you know. Okay, right, that's yeah. automatic. Yeah. Let's do it. So there's two extra up for grabs. Let's go. There's two extra up for grabs, guys. Just to let you know. But uh, thank LT. That's awesome, man. So you guys heard great. it here first. If the Giants win, LT will sign five Green Bay pictures of him kicking that dang thing and getting us into the Super Bowl. Come on, guys. Only on Revival, man. LT, thank you for that, man. So, well, guys, do I really have to go? I got to really got to – I mean, we're really going to pick again this week, guys? We got to keep the tradition, right? This is our thing now. This is a thing that we have to do. We, we if can your boy right. ours later if you want. If you don't have, I'm it gonna yet. put mine on. I'm gonna put mine on the table I'll... here, like like Gable did. I'm gonna put my oh, egg, my nuts on the table, and I'm gonna say your your big ass boy over here is gonna have to do a push up per point for a win. And I, I so 24 is in, in my prediction. 24 push ups. Hey, listen, E, that's a lot for me. That's a lot for me. Okay, that's a lot. That's, <laughs> that's a lot for me. 10, so. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, gotta match it. Whatever it is, I gotta match it. I'll do that. If the Giants win, I will match speed. I will actually okay. match it and double it. No, you double it. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I will match you're it and double. Better shape than I am. Okay. No, I Let's am go. not. Okay. <laughs> I, I need. I need. I need Lawrence for this one. Lawrence, I'm a. I'm a former collegiate soccer player. Not a big deal. I don't even like to talk about it. But if the Giants win, what is a respectable distance that I could kick a field goal? Ooh. As a non-professional, yeah. I think 40. 40 is kind of a magic number. Okay. Okay. And you if play college Giants, soccer, that should be no problem. If the Giants win, I will kick a 40-yard field goal. 33-yard line. Ooh. Let's see what we got. Okay. Now, you're going to need I'll be there. We'll, we'll, in, no? I want to oh, wait, that. Well, Spiro, what did you say? 33-yard line? What do you think? Oh, 30. 30-yard 30, 30 line, sir. 30-yard line. There's no, there's no Were snaps. you adding the snap? You know the snap <laughs> yes, is eight. Yes, that's what it was. Eight. That's what it was. <laughs> yes. The snap is eight snaps. yards. Lawrence is all over go. your business tonight, Spiro, and I will yeah, watch. Yeah. 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 Please, please. LT's here for the smoke. smoke. All right, all right, all right, all right, I see. <laughs> so, listen, it's, it's, Shit. so listen, it's not like, you know, it's not like, you know, El Jefe paid D, D1 and, and a tight end or something, but that's another story. That's another story for other people to hear. So yeah, 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 yeah. we're going to wrap this up D3. here. <laughs> D3. We're going to wrap this up here. And we want to thank LT, man, for stopping by. Thank you so much, man, for joining You're the Revival. And uh, guys, listen, man, we're going to see you next Tuesday, man. And let's celebrate this win, but let's work on the opportunities to get better. Mm -hmm. And, of course, it is your boy, Eli Rax, a.k.a. Vibes. And I'm here with Mr. Mr. Glass Hat, Mr. Glass Hat Full, aka Speed, if you nasty now. <laughs> <laughs> and my guy, El Jefe, man, and we thank you for spending your Tuesday night with us again. New York Revival was not just sports, it's entertainment. Y'all have a good night. Bless. Thanks, so much. Peace.